What's up guys, it's Josh from Soul Studios, back with part two of the iLock tips video, where if you sold your computer and you did like me, you forgot to deactivate your licenses before you traded your MacBook Pro in for your new one, this is what you can do to get out of that mess. So again, I'll pull up some video here to show you exactly how it's done. First, you've got your new computer, you're installing all your favorite plugins, you go to activate one of your favorites and it tells you you've used all your activations. So you pull up iLock and you see your old computer on the side and you're like, okay, well, I'll just go here and deactivate. And then you get the error message telling you that that source location is not accessible. So the thing you need to do, you're still thankfully going to see your computer show up on the left-hand side there. So you just want to right click where that is and report as unusable. And I had mentioned in a video I made a few years ago when I thought I had lost my iLock key about how important getting the TLC plan is. It's well worth the $30 a year to have that zero downtime slash TLC. And so for me, I forgot to deactivate the few licenses that I had on my computer because again, some of your licenses go in the cloud if you want to, some are on your physical iLock key, and then some go right on your computer. And, you know, in my defense, it's oftentimes hard to remember that. And then sometimes your computer dies. I've had that happen before. And you can't turn it back on to deactivate those licenses anyway. Now, this may take a couple of days because basically iLock is going to request a license release from all of the plug-in companies that you may have had licensed or activated to that computer. Thankfully, every single one of mine, they relinquish that license. They allow me to have the activation back so I didn't have any trouble. But just to be fully transparent, there is a chance that you may have to contact one of those manufacturers directly and ask them to give you that license back. And thankfully, that did not happen with me. If I had to guess, I think it's probably because I do have the zero downtime TLC plan. I have no affiliation with iLock. I don't get anything for saying that. But if you haven't heard of it before, or if you've been thinking about it, it's probably a good idea for if you do lose your iLock, if it's stolen, or in this case, if you need to have those activations come back to you for your new machine. So anyway, I'll keep this brief, but I hope these two videos helped you, whether you're about to sell your computer and upgrade, or if you've already sold it and you were stuck in this situation that I was. All right, again, my name is Josh. This is the Soul Studios YouTube channel. Lots of gear reviews. Lots of Pro Tools and iLock and all kinds of recording tips here. I appreciate your time. I hope you'll stick around and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Take care.